Hey guys, it's Asif at thinkasset.ca and I've got Irene Lee from Remax Realtron with us today and I want to talk about something real quick that uh, it baffles everybody who's a, a homeowner and very few people know this uh, answer. Um, if you have a condo and you pay maintenance fee, mm -hmm. what is the maintenance fee comprised of and why does it go up and down? Okay. So when we purchase a condo mm -hmm. on a pre-construction level, um, we have a quoted, I guess, maintenance fee, mm -hmm. certain cents per square foot. Mm -hmm. And that's part of the marketing and the incentive to purchase in that specific project. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the first year, they're going to honor that 52 or 72 or whatever cents per square foot that they have advertised it to be. Mm -hmm. Now, if you look in the disclosures and documents, you will see that um, certain condominiums, they have guest units. And guest units, the first year, the builder will pay for those guest units. Okay. But the second year, they are going to, so they're going to finance those units at a certain percentage. Say the bank is five, mm -hmm. uh, oftentimes it's a little bit more than that. And that is going to be uh, part of our maintenance fees now. So, so as a homeowner in a condo, I'm a guest unit, yes. even if I never use it. Yes. However, okay. the money that they make on those guest units mm -hmm. is going to the condo corp as well. So oh, okay. it, if, if it's balancing out, then it doesn't cost you anything. Mm -hmm. But the builder sort of makes money on that. Another thing that builders often do um, is sort of to lower the cost of everything. But it does come on to us is that the first year they'll pay for everything. Mm -hmm. But the second year, um, things like the gym. You know, mm -hmm. gym equipment, mm -hmm. they lease it. Okay. So the first year they pay for the lease. The second year, it, it's part of our maintenance fees. So everybody thinks that the second year maintenance fees go skyrocketing or it's going to be super expensive. Well, it's no, it's not a guessing game. It's in the documents. When you read them, when you oh, first okay. purchase, the builder will give you disclosures <laughs> and documents. If you actually read through that, you will see, okay, the equipment is being leased. Some builders also will lease um, equipment like air conditioning and um, heating and yeah. those sorts of things. Um, and that's a little bit more difficult to find because we're not used to reading those sorts of documents. Mm -hmm. But again, the first year in order to sort of level up the costs of everything, they will pay for it. Mm -hmm. And the second year it's going to be part of our maintenance fees. So. Um, it's not really a surprise. Mm -hmm. Everything is documented. You know, builders put it all in your uh, agreement of purchase and sale. It's just a matter of you going through everything and looking out for these sorts of things. Mm -hmm. And is that something you as a realtor, do you sit with your client and explain that to them as well? Yes, absolutely. Okay. Because everybody feels like, okay, if it's 52 cents or 57 cents now, then the second year it's going to be 70 cents. That's mm -hmm. not often true. Mm -hmm. um, some projects are going to be that way because it says right in the disclosures that the first year we're going to pay for this, the second year you are responsible for this. Mm -hmm. Then there is no surprise. Mm -hmm. But there are also builders that don't do this, right? So okay. the first year it's going to be 57 cents, the second year will be 60 cents. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a cost of inflation, right? Okay. So, yeah. I found I found out the hard way um, <laughs> when I moved into a building. Uh, the maintenance fees were manageable when I got in, but after two years, it started to skyrocket. Okay. But it was a resale, it wasn't a new construction. Okay. But it was the way the contracts were built and also the way the, the condo court was managed. And, and it started That's to right. skyrocket. That's right. So, so sometimes um, it's assess special assessments. Mm -hmm. When you do the resale, um, eight or nine, ten years later, you may have to redo all the windows. Mm -hmm. Or there is some sort of dysfunction in, in the, I don't know, the systems that they have that needs a little bit extra work, then the prices will go up. Um, there could be, uh, there is a story of a condominium that um, the fire alarm went off and one of the tenants, um, I guess, broke into or they took the, the fire firefighter key, I guess, the mm -hmm. key that's accessible to everybody. Mm -hmm. So in that case, and it's three buildings, when they have okay. to change all the locks and stuff, mm -hmm. that's gonna cost the condominium corp a lot of money, so okay. that's going to go into your maintenance uh, fees as well. Gotcha. So it really depends on how the corporation is run. Corporation, mm -hmm. it's a business, right? Mm -hmm. So you really have to be careful who you choose to be part of the board to manage the the money and the funds. That you I have. guess some of that is also the board chooses. You know, should they have twenty four hour concierge? Should they have security mm -hmm. guards and and um, 
you know, who's the cleaning crew on the building and what are those contracts? So those yes. are all things that are going into the maintenance fee as well. Yes, yes. And, and right now what I'm finding is uh, Airbnb. Mm -hmm. So when Airbnb is part of the building, um, I can't say for everybody, but in the building that I'm in, um, they come in, they use the garbage chutes, you know, in a mm -hmm. way that like it'll get stuck or they don't, they don't care for the building as much as the residents do. Mm -hmm. And you have to pay extra money for cleaning. You have to pay mm -hmm. extra money for, you know, uh, the clogging in the, in the garbage chutes. You've mm -hmm. got to pay extra money for the little things like this. So, mm -hmm. um, it really d does matter how you use the building yeah. um, as to how much money um, or how much the maintenance fees are going to go up or down. Gotcha. Yeah. gotcha. There was a case where mm -hmm. maintenance fees actually came down. Okay. Um, and that was because the board really managed um, the money very, very well. Mm -hmm. So, you know, year after year, it started to come down a little bit mm -hmm. downtown. But I don't, I don't find that yeah, very... That's rare. Yeah, very yeah, rare. I think there was really only rare. one story that I heard. Yeah, yeah. That's the only story you'll probably hear. <laughs> So, yeah. Anyway, thank you so much. A lot of great information. Uh, if you have any questions on maintenance fees and uh, you want to give me a call or give Irene a call, the information is going to be at the end of the video. So thank you again. Thank you.